Hi everyone, I'm Miss Roberts and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Camera Raw and Photoshop. I'm going to be going over some basic tools such as the white balance tool, the exposure tool, the patch tool, and so many others. And I'm going to be showing you how to edit and retouch your photos as a beginner. So let's get started. So here you can see that I've opened up Camera Raw and I've opened up with a photo I took of a baby. So over here to the right, you have your tools panel for Camera Raw. So the tools we will be using today are the white balance tool, the temperature and tint gauges, the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and black sliders, and the clarity and dehaze. So starting off, we can tell that these blue dots right here let us know that our shadows are too dark. Um, over here, these blue dots mean that we're losing information um, because the photo is not um, exposed enough over here. And then I'm gonna turn the highlights up so you can see the opposite effect. So to the right here, um, you can see all this red means that the photo is blown out here and we're losing information that way, that it's much too exposed. So we wanna make sure that we don't see any of those blue dots and we don't see any of the red dots. So we know that we're not losing information where the photo is too dark or too bright. So to start off with this photo, let's look at the white balance. As you can see here, the photo is extremely orange and warm toned. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna to go to auto. So as you can see, that already has made it look much better. It even took out some of the shadows that were too dark here. But you can keep trying your white balance tool. See what each one does to the photo. Sometimes custom works very well. But for this one, I think we'll go with auto. So moving on. The temperature tint, she, she still looks a bit yellow. So I'm gonna move it towards blue just a bit. Same thing down here. You could move it to the left to make it a bit more green or to the right to make it a bit more pink. Up here, you can move it to the left to make it a bit more cool toned. And here you can move it to the right to make it more warm toned. So moving on to exposure we can see that her face is still a bit in the shadows as well as over here, they're still, it's still very shadowy and dark. So we wanna bring the exposure up. But as you can see, that really brought up this highlight at the top of her head. So we wanna bring the highlights down a bit. And then you can bring your shadows down a little more. Up the contrast just a little bit. And br then bring the whites down so you know it's not too blown out. I'm gonna up the exposure just a bit more. And then down here, we can use the clarity slider, bring it to the right a bit. You can see it makes the photo sharper to the left makes it softer. We're gonna go back to the middle and just bring it up a bit so she's nice and clear. And then we're gonna open in Photoshop. So now that we've opened up our photo in Photoshop, I'm going to show you the tools we will be using. So the first thing we'll be, we will be doing is creating a new layer. So you can hit Command J or you can hit this small little page button down at the bottom right hand of the screen. We create a new layer that is an exact copy of the photo so we can edit and retouch non-destructively. Um, you never wanna edit directly on your background because that's the original photo. So we're also going to be using the curves tool today. Curves are how you can color correct a photo, you use this line um, and you bring it up or down and we'll get to more of that later. We're also going to be using the 
brightness and contrast tool. So you can use these sliders to brighten your photo or darken and to add contrast or take away contrast. This is the properties panel. This is where you will have access to your tools. This is the history panel. This is how you will go back um, to what you're working on previously if you've made a mistake. So if I wanted to go back to my curves tool, I would hit that. So over here, some more tools we will be using is the crop tool. You can use the crop tool to resize your image. Um, if you only wanted the image to be of her face, you could use the crop tool to get in nice and close. Next, we have the spot healing brush tool, which you can use as a paintbrush. You use it on the face of a subject to retouch the skin, similar to the healing brush tool, which is also used to retouch and edit the skin, but a bit different. It takes the pixels from a specific part of the image. If you press Alt, a little target comes up. And then you will use those pixels to paint again over what you want to retouch. And then lastly, we'll be using the patch tool, which you can circle around an object and then move to a different part of an image and those pixels will cover it as well. Then we have the brush tool, which uses any color um, and that of course paints. Next, we have the blur tool, which would blur a part of your image. And opposite, we have the sharpen tool, which could add sharpness. Then we have the dodge tool, which can be used to brighten in any part of the image. So for example, I'll brighten, I'll make my brush bigger. And you can see it, I lightened that area of her face. The term dodge actually comes from darkroom photography, which predates digital photography, of course. And it's a method used um, in the printing process to lighten the image. And then opposite of the dodge tool, we have the burn tool, which also comes from darkroom photography. And you would, this is how you would uh, darken your images in um, the darkroom when you were printing. Um, so we can use this tool to darken. And then lastly, we have our color panels down here. And you can just click on the box and pick any image or any color in the image. And it will bring that up for you. And then you can, again, you can use the paintbrush tool and you could paint with that color. So let's get started editing this photo. As you can see, the baby's skin is a bit red. So we're gonna come up to curves, go to our properties panel, and we're gonna to come to the RBG panel here. RBG of course stands for red, green, and blue. So since the baby's face looks a bit red, I'm gonna use the red, take my pointer tool, select an area of the photo that I think is a bit red. As you can see over here, the dot will move along with the histogram from the photo. So right about here is good. And then you're gonna pinpoint that spot on the histogram and use your arrow keys to bring the redness down. So as you can see, it looks very subtle now, but if you go to layers and you shut off your curves, you can immediately see a difference. So we brought the red down in the baby a lot. And now you wanna make sure that she's not a bit too green as well. So same thing, you take your pointer tool, you select an area on her face, this looks about right. And with your arrow keys, you're gonna bring it down a little bit. Now we're gonna go into our brightness and contrast tool and go over to properties. I'm going to bring the brightness up a little bit more and add a little bit more contrast just so her face is nice and bright. And you can always check your progress by coming over to layers and shutting off that layer you just worked on to see what you've done. 
So now we're going to use the patch tool and we're gonna zoom in real close and get rid of some of her baby acne. So right here, you can see some little bumps. So you're gonna select the area. You're gonna move it over. Oh, make sure you're on layer one. You're gonna select the area, move it over, and you can see that where I've moved the circle is what is covering the old pixels, and then deselect. And then you're gonna do the same with this little bump. And then deselect. So you don't wanna leave it just like that. Now we're gonna um, soften the edges with the spot healing brush tool. And this will just blend the pixels together. So they're almost impossible to tell that you've retouched. So right on her nose, we're gonna remove this little bit of baby acne. And then I'm gonna remove this little hair. And then again, with the spot healing brush tool, you're gonna to make sure that the edges are nice and clean. Then you can shut off layer one to check your progress. And as you can see, we got rid of the little bits of baby acne on her face. So now we wanna make sure that this highlighted part of her head isn't too blown out compared to the rest of her skin. So I'm gonna take the burn tool. I'm gonna to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna use a soft hand and go over this area of her head. And you don't wanna to go too hard or too heavy and up here, you can bring the exposure up or down. So if you brought it up high to like about 100, you can see that it would really darken the image. But if you bring it down very, very low to about nine or 10, you can see that it just subtly makes the photo a bit darker wherever you want. Now we're gonna use the dodge tool to brighten areas of her face. Same thing here, if you go up to 100, you can see that it really makes a difference in brightening. But if you keep it down at nine or 10, the opacity stays very low and you can naturally make things brighter. So I'm gonna get right in here into the whites of her eyes and I'm gonna make those a bit brighter. So make your brush smaller. Get right into those cracks. And you can use this method for whitening teeth as well. So then make sure to shut off layer one to check your progress. Now I'm going to use the sharpen tool to really make sure her eyes are nice and sharp. So I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and you're gonna kind of paint over where you'd like to sharpen. Again, with a light hand. And as you can tell, it really brought out the colors in her eyes to sharpen it. And the same thing, the blur tool, you can use that to blur a part of the image. Say I wanted to go right over her nose. As you can see, it gives it like a soft effect. And finally, we can use the paintbrush tool to make specific colors in the image brighter and more vibrant. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come to the color panel and I'm gonna take my dropper and I'm gonna come right up on her lips and get this rosy pink. Then I'm gonna take the brush tool and with my opacity down low, low about five to 10, I'm gonna keep it at eight. 
I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go over her lips just to give them more of a rosy tint. And there you have it. There are your Photoshop basics. Let me know if you have any questions. Please make sure you upload to the Slack with your in-progress photos and reach out if you need anything else.